So what was your first job after college? Uh, I did two years of studying to be an architect and then I took a year out because I wanted to uh, continue my studies in New York. So it took a gap year and I applied for a few jobs on magazines and I got one on this teenage magazine called Petticoat. Oh, yeah. And it was brilliant because I was in charge of all the pages about design. I could work with loads of photographers and designers. Uh, and then my husband took some photographs of me and I did some modelling work as well. So we've got, we've got those modelling pictures. Look at I love that shot. Those legs. I love yeah. those. Oh, is... You have no <coughs> idea at the time, do you? No. You know. Look at that's so cool, Janet. Those Look clothes by Sandra Rose. Um, yeah. You then went on uh, to become deputy fashion editor at the Daily Mail, and I've been searching through some of your columns. <laughs> oh, today. no, I wrote... I used to write this column was complete drivel <laughs> about well, being... I'm glad you said it. <laughs> so go this... read out something really <laughs> embarrassing. Time. This just made me laugh so much. Right, this was called... Cos she's the deputy fashion editor, so this is all about fashion. Get up and go, and here's the secret of being an early bird. <laughs> Irony, Janet Street Porter, who's never on time for any of our meetings. In the <laughs> right, so this is how she starts. Do you look good when you dress in a hurry? When you drive your husband to the station in time for the 7.15, for instance? <laughs> Maybe not, but it can be done with just a little planning the night before. <laughs> the essentials are clothes which can be shrugged on in two minutes while he dans his toast and coffee downstairs. <laughs> I can only apologise. <laughs> what year was that? 19... That was 19... 29th of April, 1969. Yeah, Denise, well... What? And you give us a hard time for compromising. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was half a century ago, of course. <laughs> um, I was... Honestly, when I arrived at work for work on the, at the Daily Mail, 1969, my outfit for going to work was a pair of red knitted shorts, green tights, high-heeled um, green suede shoes and a green fur jacket. And I had um, this spiky yellow and pink hair. Well, and with those legs, you can get away with yeah. the shorts. Yeah, I and I went on public transport it. like that as well. <laughs> I bet you look fantastic. Well,